thank you for that question as well. Any questions on my welcome? Yes, 100 percent So on um, Oli, I advanced uh, to the next uh, step of the head. So you saw me layering one side out, yes? I repeated the same thing on the other side. Now that length became a guide for the layer on the top. And what I'm doing is I'm over-directing the head away from the hairline. So it's creating a little bit of length, yeah? More just casually watching me on the side. Lovely. No pressure there. <laughs> So obviously earlier, if you couldn't hear from my microphone, obviously I was saying about as well, the technique I'm doing now, it's, it's kind of done in a very classic, methodical way. So it's assumed we have the ABC, like John was saying. So that's a very classic kind of way of cutting and colouring hair. But then when we do have things, big collections, big shows, whatever we do, the looks and techniques, all come from the original ABC and then every look we do is designed especially for each person. That's such a such an important message, I think, isn't it? I think so. That we quite, quite often uh, I often teach ABC course, short term course, like five days. So we get uh, quite often uh, addresses you know, all over the world and they come in and they say I want to do a graduated book, right? I want to do a, you know, a long layer tag or a short tag or a short graduation. But what's really important, you know, when they say that they're kind of missing the point. What's important is that whatever we teach in the academy is we try to give people the understanding of how haircuts are basically structured and uh, so you guys or everybody who comes to our courses can learn the process of creating hair design rather than a set uh, haircuts and this, this is similar with color as well isn't it yeah, I think you make a great valid point there, as well, because ultimately it's about teaching technique yeah. as opposed to teaching a specific haircut. Yeah. If you understand technique, you know how to cut hair. You don't need to follow just one particular look. And obviously the same goes for your creative colouring techniques as well. As you said earlier, they're based from classic concepts. Yeah, completely. I think whatever we do, section-wise, technique-wise, it's not like we're trying to recreate things and do things that are very gimmicky. Everything comes from an idea, a concept, and then we basically design things especially for each individual module, and we design them for them using the ABC techniques. So everything is done in a very kind of methodical way. We all follow the same kind of tune but we all design things each individually for each model we have in our chair of client. That's, um, that's very interesting what you're saying because uh, quite often I get to uh, I get a question of what is your uh, creative process, you know, like how you get to the point when you say this is the right haircut for a person or this is the right color. And it's very different for everybody, isn't it? Thank you. We, we, we get inspired by different things. It, I mean, it's a very difficult thing, isn't it? Obviously, people always ask kind of where your ideas come from and things, don't they? And obviously, I'm very lucky because today I get to work with the beautiful Jolt and the beautiful Erin. And Erin always has a haircut by Jolt. So we always kind of cut and colour Eric's hair but we're always thinking about the next thing. Just while I have this section in my hand as well, you can kind of see how the magic of this was dark blue over the previous bleach. So you can see it's given this kind of greeny tone, which I'm really happy with because it has actually taken out really, really well. Like I was saying earlier, I didn't have to bleach the hair 
I just lighted it out with a, a very mild product we have at Sassu called Magic Off. And basically that's cleanse the hair to let me start a new chapter on Erin. But basically, as we were saying, because we look after Erin's hair every time, we're always thinking about the next thing, the next chapter, the next vibe or the idea. And, and Erin's very passionate herself about the kind of things she likes, others and haircuts. So myself and Joel together are always kind of thinking about a new look for this young lady. I think that's what's exciting about it. It's not like, like we said, we're not teaching things to replicate on other people. We're teaching you ways of kind of designing things for each individual person. So, can I just jump in for a second? Jump in, baby. So I add this up to the next section, yes? I'm gonna, I sort of move. The last time when you saw me, I layered this section and I over-directed everything to that way, keeping the length into the fridge, yes? The next section is coming from the back, so the previous layered section in there. I'm working from a shorter length into the longer length, and you can see that the sections are overlapping each other, creating texture and also a little bit of drama the hair, but when it's provoked, provoked, or styled. Yeah. As you're working right now, Zol, are you using the latest collection as an inspiration? Yes. So soon now too? Yeah, so thank, thanks for that. So Sasun so uh, so now, which is we actually gonna be showing tomorrow uh, in the afternoon, you know, so if you haven't got your ticket and would like to see it, you know, please arrange it. Uh, it's very much, the basis of the collection is very much celebrating individuality, yes. So we don't say such a thing as, uh, you know, it's a little bit of 60s, 70s or a certain type. It's cool haircuts or cool girls and always the inspiration coming from the model. We are uh, still, lots of the techniques, what we're showing and what I'm doing now is, you guys can look at it in the collections, on our online, and also the coloring, isn't it? Oh yeah, but I mean, we haven't talked about the online stuff. I mean, obviously with what happened with the world practically closing down at some point last year, Everyone still wanted to obviously feed the habit of hair, didn't they? But it was all at home. And as you see, we never personally stop. We're always kind of trying to do the next thing and trying to work on ourselves. And, and basically, we have Sassoon online, which means wherever you are in the world, you can tune in by the, the magical internet. <laughs> and I think it's the way the, thing, the world is now, isn't it? And it's, if you can't come to us, for whatever reason, you obviously can always have us by turning on your laptop and joining us soon online. In the comfort of your home. Exactly. Or even on your phone. You can turn it on on your phone. Exactly. It just as well. Yeah, the opportunity to see all of our collections and all of our education is available to you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
beautiful and it really is this kind of as regards to being able to take all the technique, not just the inspiration of the looks, but also how to's with the looks as well. So yeah, on a special promotion today, £100 full price, but for the show it's at 75 And Mark will sign it for you. I mean, it's one of those things, I don't know about you guys, but I love a book on my coffee table. A whole collection of them, but obviously it is such a beautiful kind of thing. And people always ask about, obviously, sexual patterns and... I mean, just the imagery, it's such a beautiful thing to have. The same books are in all of our libraries, and they're very thought after once they're sold out. So this is like the new version of the previous Bauhaus, but basically, you can't get it if you haven't got it. So, um, I'd like one. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of a video game. Thank you. Yes, actually, I had a chance to look at it yesterday when we were doing uh, our master's course. In, uh, and uh, it's just really amazing to see all the collections and all the tactics together and, and also all the creativity, you know, like in this book. The, the, the quantity and the quality of the work is just phenomenal, it really is. And as you said, just getting a chance to look at it now because it literally is just part of the press just in time for Salon International, where I think about 48 hours. So just to jump in with my haircut, I'm gonna just cross-check my layers on the top. And as I'm cross-checking the layers, I slide around in the corners on the side, yeah? So it's got like a smooth transition and taking a little bit of weight out of your hair. Once I finish that, I'm going to blow dry the hair and then any refining or anything else what needs to be done will be done after the blow dry. The colour looks amazing. Is someone going to be talking about the colour once you're closer to finish? Okay. So, what is going to be... Uh, actually, the colour is just it's just 50%. Got it. So yeah, you're half, you're half done. So half done, here. Yeah. All his, uh, Jamie's gonna color all his hair at, uh, I believe, one o'clock. So if you guys wanna see the full look, please come by again for one o'clock. I'm also gonna cut Erin at three o'clock. So I wondered, I wondered, I was going to say that I know yes. that we won't get to see the finished look right now yes. for color, but we will then come three o'clock once it's cut. Definitely, yes. So I think you've got to stay okay guys, you've got to keep coming back. Come back and visit him guys. Exactly. So basically, when I've worked with the section, I've kind of gone from ear to ear but obviously not in a very strong way. I've got it more the zinc. It's not even zinc zag actually. It's nice to be able to And gear to gear, and then it goes to a point. Just so that the shape is slim around the front of the face, working further back that wall to here. And basically what I want to do is just work different tones of navy and violet through the gear. So if you weren't in the audience before, with every place, there's lots of kind of colour in the hair, we've removed the colour, so do it. I've got for any fresh piece of the hair, I've got a whole lot of colours, and one different tone, then, in a blue and purple way on the planet. Now the hair has not been cut yet, like John said, he's been making it himself, so all I want to do is work in colour, that will work with the hair cut that's not there yet. So what I kind of want to do is have, so that all around the front of the face, is different tones of this colour. So all I want to do is separate the hair, working in little, very methodical triangles. So I'm going to go around the head, 
I split the head into triangles as I go along. I've got a Sassoon blue, so the blue is a nice kind of deep blue, and I've got that a, a drop of blue black, but just a drop so it doesn't go black, because the whole area has very dark hair already, so all I'm going to do is work it, like I said, in a salon friendly way. So this whole triangle, I'm going to section and put or just lay it onto the foil. Make life as easy as possible. That sounds good. Okay. I cannot wait to cut Eddie's hair later. Right, so in terms of products, I used uh, from the Sassoon professional range, I used Halo Hydrate which is basically a, a living conditioner, but quite a light living conditioner. And then on top of that, I layered it with uh, illuminating oil, which is basically like a syrup. It works really great on color. I'm using our best brush, yes, the nine row, and just using a, a wrapping technique, sort of trying to get the head as smooth as possible, not too much lift. The head is layered, so eventually once when I style the head out, it will uh, it will uh, have a little bit of uh, kick to it, you know, after that. It will 